In this video, we are going to calculate the linear momentum of a photon. In classical mechanics, you'll recall that we can calculate the linear momentum as the mass times the velocity. This runs into an immediate problem when we're talking about photons, since photons actually have a zero mass. So if we were to naively use the classical expression for momentum, we would clude, conclude incorrectly that the momentum of a photon was zero. And it turns out that is not true. So let's suppose that we have a photon that has a wavelength of 500 nanometers. And what we want to do is to compute the momentum of this particular photon. So the expression that we want to use to do this calculation is that the momentum is equal to h divided by lambda, where lambda is the wavelength of the photon. So what do we do first? Well, we recall that h is Planck's constant, and this has a value of 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. And I'm going to put the letter j in a different color here for reasons which will be clear in a second. So 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joule seconds. For the denominator, we have simply the wavelength, and we're going to rewrite this as we typically do as 5.000 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Recall that a nanometer is 10 to the minus 9 meters, so we could write that as 500 times 10 to the minus 9 meters, which is the same as 5 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. So now, it's a relatively straightforward calculation as far as the numbers go. But then we run into a problem of strange units. So the units that we end up with here be joule seconds divided by meters. So what we're going to do first is simply crank through the numerical part and then show how we deal with the units. So as far as the numeric parts of the answer, we get a value of 1.3 to 5 times 10 to the minus 27. And then we're stuck with certain units, so we have seconds divided by meters, and then we have joules. What we need to do now is to recall what a joule actually is. So recall a joule is a kilogram meter squared per second squared. So to get our appropriate units for our expression, we want to substitute the units in for joules where they belong. So we have our momentum here. Again, is 1.325 times 10 to the minus 27. And I'll put in for the joules, so we have kilogram meter squared per second squared, and I've color coded the definition of a joule in red there. And then the rest of the units are seconds divided by meters. Well, we can simplify since we notice that seconds will cancel with seconds, and I'm left with just seconds in the denominator. Meters and meters squared will cancel, so I can get rid of one meter there, one meter there, and we're left with units of meters in the numerator, and I have my final version of the momentum with the proper units. So I see that for this particular photon, with a wavelength of 500 nanometers, the momentum of a single photon, one single particle of that light, is going to be 1.325 times 10 to the minus 27 kilogram meters per second. And these are the appropriate units for momentum. I 
Thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.